can press the home button. Pro controller middle. lives matter too, Charlie. Kinda. They need to take the initiative and stop doing that. <laughs> Alright, getting into this game one on town. Blueberry starting off with a 34% combo to knock him off the stage. Try to go with that, uh, try to go with the yo yo. But Cyrus is going to hit him with that up beat. You know, I'm, I'm sure most of, most of everyone that's heard me on the mic knows exactly how I feel about this character, Ness. Uh, <laughs> and where I feel like he should be in the game. Uh, if he should be in the game at all. But I like that we have, like, it's such an explosive character in the game. Yeah. And he's going up against another explosive character. Because yeah. no matter what happens, someone's getting bodied. Right. And I know a lot of people know how I feel about Roy in particular. I, I despise. <laughs> I despise. I saw this, I saw this, I saw a Roy plush in uh, Japan and I wanted to buy it just to tear it apart. Oh no. Yeah. You can't you know, do that, man. You know what's really funny about Ness, about what you said? So in Smash 4, Ness was like that character where if you hated him, you were just like bad versus him. But in this game, he's actually really good. And that's just really annoying. What <laughs> if <laughs> I've hated Ness since the dawn of time? I mean, I don't blame you. He's like what hard to fight. What if I've hated fight. Ness since Smash 64? I mean, we're right. <laughs> we're right now. Going with that uh, drag down up air into up tilt. It's not going to take the stock, but he does have Syro at the ledge. He read that, but he was a little bit too slow. Yeah, sometimes, you know, that's about the hard reads. You have to realize just how much recovery frames your opponent's going to have. Just waiting for that uh, up air into back air, staying the damage just a little bit more. 76%. Yeah, mm, I don't think jabs are going to be enough. But okay, nice carry. Sorry right now. In a beautiful position. Wow, went for the wave bounce side B into the neutral B, but it's not gonna quite catch Blue Ray. Blue Ray's gonna recover on stage. Bit of a risky play. Now he's off stage once again. Nice, put it out the spot dodge. Right there. Out of shield, gonna punish. Take this dodge. 116%. You're just jab one jab back air away from death. With a couple up airs. We're gonna see a platform extension too. Okay, trying to trap, but falling back air. Gonna catch him off guard very quick. Fastball back up from the platform by Cyro. He's gonna take that stock and right now Cyro's in a almost a full stock lead if he doesn't get yo yo Caught him in the air, he swatted him out of the air with that forward air. Nice punch out of shield coming out from Lou Gray. Cyro not taking the forward air properly. All right, patient play. Fucking playing very careful, Lou Gray. Great best projectile in the game, PK fire. <laughs> I know it's not actually, but man, does that it feel like it sometimes? Worse Nikita. <laughs> <laughs> Got him with that falling up air into back throw. Not going to take the stock, but he does have Cyro off stage. Let's see if he's going to be able to convert. Cyro reacting to that ledge strong. Ooh, dropping to last minute to that side D. Okay, look at that movement that he's keeping out of Cyro there. He forward air onto the platform, then wave bounce so he could like cover the ledge with the side D up. Can we talk about he's, how Ness is yo-yo? Can we talk about how Ness is yo-yo? I don't want to talk about Ness is yo-yo. I've, I've seen too many Ness yo-yos. Cyro <laughs> Cyro jumped from ledge and just sucked him in anyway. Oh no, Lumbre right now. He just, he brought it back. It was um, heavily in Cyro's favor. And that's what I was talking about earlier. We have these two characters on the screen who have amazing damage output, extremely explosive. Cyro was ready for that roll-in. And one has a significantly worse recovery than the other, so it can be exploited. Okay, carrying the first hit of the double-edged stance. Oh Ooh. So scary. Ooh, Cyro almost had that. Not going to get the sweet spot back air there. It's already one hit. Oh, that was unfortunate. Got him with that parry, but used a slow move out of shield. Cyro spot dodge up. Hope it didn't know. You know, Nubre should have been aware that Cyro was trying to go for an up tilt too because he already went underneath the platform and pivot up tilted. And you know, human. I mean, he should have been aware more of the fact that he got a parry and he was it was like a distant parry. So there, he should have went for like a grab. And even then, I don't know if it was a true punish. It was hard to get a true punish there. So instead of going for like a medium true punish and maybe get spot dodge reversal, like mm. like what happened, he could have like dashed, waited out a defensive option maybe, and then punished it. But you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Stuff happens. Exactly. Hindsight is in fact twenty twenty. Just like it's twenty twenty right now. We got a couple of upbeats coming out from Cyro. I don't know what he was trying to catch, but he didn't catch anything but air. <laughs> Kind of swatting the air. And then we got that rising border off the platform. Teching in on the platform once again. Oh, that's it. You do it a single time. It's like a verbal <laughs> tick once Yo, again. Don't worry, man. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, down to. Oh, the dash dance. Just trying to catch the mix up from the tech recovery. Red the tech in there, but Syro, you know, he didn't dash far enough. Blue Gray going to use that back air to recover. Very nice placement of that move. Oh, this could be the stock. 
No, no, no. He's going to be a send up and Ooh. looking for it. Ooh. Tried that air dodge. Barely living. Yo, yo, not going to be in the correct position. Oh, okay. I guess that move is actually so stupid. <laughs> but good stuff. The Loomer going to use that yo to take the stock. Sorry, excuse my biases on commentary. <laughs> Ooh, got him with that down beat into the grab and up air grab. Saucy stuff for Lumbre. I like how you you don't like Roy, but we just saw Lumbre hit four buttons <laughs> in I mean, a row. I, well, I mean, both these characters yeah, just, can just take all a the hike. Buttons, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to think of a PC way to say it. I'm like, okay, take a hike. I'm not going to offend anyone by saying that. Ooh, you know that, that not a technique that I haven't seen from Syro that we typically see from like other Roy's like Goblins, the extended up tilt. Oh, the, the especially the, the, the like mud trap, yeah. Right. I mean, it just depends. I mean, you'll see a lot of Roy's literally run across the entire stage because the character's so close to that tilt. And I really hope this hits and it'll kill at 90. <laughs> I definitely do see Syro. I mean, it's let's not this match. 90 is generous. 90 is pretty. Generous. I don't know. 90. I, if he if he killed you at 90 with the up tilt at the ledge, like. You deserve it. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> you deserve it. That's pretty it. late, honestly. That is pretty late for Roy. For Roy standards, that's definitely pretty late. <laughs> Moonbury going for that neutral get up into the uh, PK fire, but Syro was ready for it. Wow, he actually grabbed the ledge there. Incredible air dodge coming here from Moonbray. Recognizing the distance he needed to grab ledge. Oh, okay, because that was the second grip that got taken. This is time to go in for Syro, but Moonbray swinging back with the, with the back air. Oh! Pulling a light speed once again, missing the jab back air. Yeah, Jared's not enough. <laughs> I love characters I can mash side B and like, no. <laughs> Oh, my bad. <laughs> Didn't fuck do that? Side B? I mean, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely saw a lot of side Bs from you a couple years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. Looking for the goal. I'm pepped with that very weak back throw. Saw recognizing he was going to land with a back air. Wow, that's okay. Syro just kind of got 73 damage. And that was actually just the immense pressure that he put out by using neutral B. Neutral B from Roy, of course, has like zero lag. He just went to neutral B immediately into jab, expecting a spot dodge. Ran across, Libre. ran half a yard to get to the break, trying to get that jab back there, but it didn't see the spot. Libre dropping shield after that parry. A lot of times if you parry a multi, you just have to hold shield. Unless you have a move that can hit in between the hits. Or if you're a madman, you play every hit. That's not going to sweet spot, but Lubre is in a bad position. Die or stage to be in at the ledge versus Roy. Cyro's Roy, no less. Oh, where's another up tilt? That's what I'm looking for. But there's a run up, jab, dash, back. Very smart. Reset to neutral and just try and get the next uh, neutral exchange. Nice snares out of shield coming out from Lubre. Those added shield options. That's going to be the stock once again. With that parry up tilt. The first time it was Lumbre parrying into a missed back air up tilt. This time it was Syro's own parry. Got the sweet spot up tilt. Going to take that second game up 2-0 now yeah, versus I mean, Lumbre. I, I didn't realize this was win of semis. Yeah. I was like, wow, 2-0 Syro. All right, let's go. Let's move on. I'm tired of seeing this boy on the boy on the screen. People, I really hate SNES. Oh, you have no idea. Yeah, you I'm being nice right now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't, honestly, I don't even blame you, especially in this game. Woo. But getting into this game three right now, let's see what, what adjustments Lubre's are Lubre's gonna make. He's been playing so well as of late, just little tiny flubs here and there, costing him these games an incredible awareness from Syro, taking advantage of his mistakes. That's true. I mean, like you said, just those small mistakes are going to continue to add up. Just these small neutral exchanges, especially whenever it comes down to those, ooh, those nail biting situations. Speaking of mistake, ooh, that air dodge. He could have died for it. <laughs> Had Syro red with an F smash. Ooh, speaking of his own F smash. Yeah. What's the roll? What's the roll? Same situation. But yes, sour spot side B. Fortunate for Loomre, still hanging on to the stock. He was just a little bit closer. Uh, definitely would have exploded off the side of the stage. This might be the stock. Lumbre jumping the gun on these edge guards a little bit. Nice. Run up, up smash. Reading that spot dodge, probably into that uh, <laughs> into that uh, stock takeage. Lumbre right now in a good position. Let's see if he can hold this lead. Grab forward air, no back air needed. Can't play back air. Yeah, I think it was the platform. Yeah. yeah. Lumbre right now. Caught that jump in. Got him with the magnet jab. Nice. Oh, Got him yes. down you know, you have to go off stage and make those plays. Right. You have to. Especially if you're capable, just like Ness. May not have a very quick recovery, but it does go a long distance. And that aerial mobility of his, coupled with those big hitboxes, definitely makes a uh, combo into a good 
decent edge guard. Decent edge guard. Especially if you have the position. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, he was the. Oh, no. That was so unfortunate. That was unfortunate. Oubre, such a big lead, but now. Well, still in the lead. Definitely, but. Roy's damage output is so wild that he can just bring it back. Roy, characters who have damage output like Roy? No, no, no. Percent means nothing. Oh, yeah. Until I see the word game or you're up a stock, then you have a lead. Right, right now. Roy's definitely one of those characters that you have to two stock. And I can't believe that actually, that actually super armor through the yo-yo. I believe you may have waited the four hits that you need, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Zumbre right now, that's a tough position. Oh, oh is he gonna Cyro run off counter? Is he gonna run off counter? Okay, good directional air dodge. Zumbre escaping the left trap. Jab, okay, okay, restyling a little bit. Where's the up tilt? Zumbre, he isn't, like he, it's set, it's, it's game okay. point, there you go. Okay. You, you, threw the, you threw out side B, it's a little bit too early, Cyro. You gave up that stock. He may have read a tech in, and then we just had enough time to like get up, full hop. That's actually crazy. The, the fact that well he move... pushed side B three times right yeah and he had enough time to jump drift in back here dude jumps in this game are actually crazy like you and, and you you get to the top of your jump like in half the time you did in Smash Four Brawl any of the Smash games so jumps are insane now coupled with the jump squat you accelerate to the top of your jump higher and you have a, a like every character has a three things. It's making Ariel just that much better. Oh, yeah. Especially Nessie teleports to the top of his jump. Has a three frame jump spot, just like he did before. But he didn't, like, teleport to the top of his jump. And his hitboxes are infinitely bigger. <laughs> he has that yo yo of his. His oh, recovery is a little bit harder to edge guard in this game. Cyro right now starting off strong this fourth game. Moonbre went for a jump lead there, but Cyro recognized and rolled in. That was terrible DI. Oh, my God. He almost died. Either he didn't DI or, oh, got him with that two frame up in neutral B. d didn't seem to be looking at his phone. <laughs> I was indeed. But there's another down smash coming Takes out. Takes his own medicine. Went for that down air. Not quite going to get it. Cyro recognizing the dare attempt and air dodging to the ledge. Knowing the distance he needed to be to grab the ledge properly. And that's going to kill yep, him. He's gone. Okay. I know we said what happened to Lumbre. Lightning Nikita. Was, was uh, unfortunate. I hate seeing stocks get evaporated like that. Gotta, that is the worst way to lose a stock. You just gotta react in tech, and if you don't, it's pretty tilting. It, honestly, if, if you can keep your composure after that, you're the man. Okay, well, Cyro's trying to keep his composure. Still stocks, playing, stocks playing well. Even, yeah. Wow, once, I think he's trying to parry the last hit. This ambitious ass boy, this ambitious man. That's an ass man, of course. Umbre trying to recover just a little bit higher. That was very unfortunate. He's missing the ledge there like by quite a margin. I mean, in that position, I would expect my opponent, especially with a strong back air like Roy, to try and use it too. True. Alright, try to catch on with side B. Once again, drop a chill early. Poking him with the down tilt, but that fastball is mighty scary for Cyro. Umbre, Nair at his shield, and that's gonna put Cyro off stage. Chase him with a forward air, of course, that's gonna take a stop. It's a very key forward air there. He needed that. Not a bad position, 60% only dealt. Dodging these approaches from Cyro. That's when he stopped. That was actually so unfortunate. That was, I'm, oh my god. Was, that, was that DI good? I think he just like landed early during the forward air, so the last hit didn't connect, and he just passed side. Beat. That, uh, oh, I'd be so mad. Oh my god. But good stuff to Cyro taking that set. 3 1 over Lumbre. Both of these players played very well. Just Cyro took advantage of a couple key mistakes. Lumbre did each game, um, and some unfortunate stuff happened as well. And I believe I 